Hello, hello, hello. Good day, good day. Coming to you from the crack in my screen. I still have not gotten that fixed. It, uh, I dropped it on the rocks a week or two ago. <laughs> but I just got to 500 miles here in Blue Mountain Reservation. Beautiful rainy night. I got my raincoat on. It's only about 67 degrees, which is much better than the 86 it was earlier today. I thought, I'm not going out in the sun. I'm going to wait. But I had to deal with the rain. And it's been a very emotional day. Being Father's Day weekend and missing my sons, of course. Um, thinking about them. We had a Duchenne Dad's Zoominar. I don't know what you call that. Uh, a Duchenne Dad webinar. Zubinar, Zubinar, uh earlier today at noon Eastern time. And there were, uh, hey John. <laughs> uh, we had about seven or eight Duchenne dads and all the other dads had, their boys were still alive. And so I was the only one, the elder statesman, I guess you might call me. Um, so I was able to share some things. Hey John, <laughs> thanks for joining. And, um, but anyways, it was very emotional as I was sharing different things like, um, hey, Lindy, Lindy, thank you, Lindy, for organizing that Duchenne Dads thing today, um, even though it got me very emotional, especially even now as I've been hiking and just got to 500 miles. Um, so emotional thinking about, thinking back on many different things of my my kids growing up and uh, when they were struggling losing abilities like these Duchenne dads are starting to see in their kids and especially that comes to me uh, even just a moment ago as I was hiking and getting ready for this video just getting all choked up about um, the, uh, the morning Austin died and started flatlining and uh, you know it's uh, it really gets me choked up, you know, losing losing my precious Austin and, and then Everett five years later. But you know what? Um, I learned a lot from them and being their dad. And I feel like I have a lot to share. Another thing that's really got me emotional today is one of our Duchenne mothers in a, I'm gonna keep it anonymous just because we don't wanna draw any attention to her. But well, one of our Duchenne moms that we support in one of our Sub-Saharan Africa countries who has two Duchenne boys, um, the helper that we hired for her and arrived Wednesday um, to be the live-in helper was caught doing something he shouldn't be doing. And so he has to be uh, put back on the bus tomorrow and I'm trying to keep it very brief and anonymous. Um, but uh, the struggle is real, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa where resources are very limited. And um, so pray for that family, um, those two precious boys that we are trying to support and love. And join us in this, in this cause. Sorry about the crack in my screen and it's right over the camera lens but uh, I'll get that fixed sometime soon <laughs> but anyway have a good night happy father's day and uh, God bless you